All right, welcome back to another episode of Warframe of uh, what is basically Barracketeer selling. Uh, but first thing before we do that, uh, oh, and also today is March 22, 2019. Um, let's take a look. So, uh, they changed the UI for a bit. Uh, looks like uh, you see stuff now over here. Unread messages. Let's see what's our unread message. Oh, Barracketeer. 322-2019, Void Trader has arrived. Uh, what is this? Uh, we got an event. Uh, looks like a new event. Hmm, I should probably do this. Uh, let's see, let's go ahead and uh, jump into Barracket here and figure out what he's actually selling. And looks like he is in Mercury. Rhonda, let's go with a calm one. I don't think I've ever, oh no, I think I've seen him. This is the one, uh, where in the relay there's like fire everywhere so let's go ahead and take a look at what he's selling so there's more changes uh, apparently they changed the how melee works i still haven't tried it uh, I, I basically go on warframe maybe once a week now but we'll see but when i do uh pl play warframe i have to what the heck why did that appear um when I do play Warframe, I spend like an hour or two just farming. Usually with Gara, just stay inside the bubble and let the, the randoms like kill everything. And this is my Mirage Prime. I think I need a better look though. Like maybe the butterfly wings and uh, change it all to this color. Make her stand out. It looks cool. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look. My latest safari in the void has yielded spectacular finds. Unique That's all right. items for the tenno of distinction. Okay, looks like first we have the Prisma Kavat Glyph. How much ducats do I have? I didn't actually look. Let's see. I got 55. Oh yeah, I used it up on the last uh, last time he was here. Um, so for 80 ducats and 50,000 credits, you get a, a glyph, a Prisma Kavat Glyph. Uh, for the same amount, uh, you get a Kubro pr or a Prisma Kubro glyph. Uh, I'm not sure if this is worth it because it's a glyph. What do you do with glyphs? Uh, next, we have a uh, Prime to Expel Corpus, basically a extra damage uh, to the Corpus, but uh, it takes up 14 slots, or if you have that, seven slots. Uh, in my opinion, it's not worth it. But then again, I don't use this. I don't know if there's actually a better use for it like if people actually use it but there you go and it looks like they're pistol mods next we have the primed expel corrupted so another pistol mod and 14 slots i i, I don't think it's worth it for 350 ducats and uh, 140,000 credits you can get the primed expel cor expel corrupted and next we have the primed expel grenier uh, for the same price, 350 ducats and 140,000 credits. And uh, now we have the Prime Big Spell in, uh, Infested for 350 ducats and 140,000 credits. So basically the same type of enemies. I wonder if they're going to change the enemies. Um, let's see. Next we have the Prisma Ver Veritax. Uh, this might actually be worth it because I only have the... The default sword um, when playing the flying thing. I forgot what do you, what do you call the flying thing. Arcwing. There you go. It's in it's in the flavor text. So for five hundred fifty ducats, which I do not have, uh, you can get uh, the Prisma Veritax. I probably should get this. Uh, it looks like you press R two to see the stats. So you can see the stats. Uh, let's see what's so good about it. Damage multiplier, uh, status attack, and critical chance. I don't know what the normal Veritex has, but this one's the Prisma version, so it's probably better. Uh, next, we have the Prisma Gorgon. Uh, it took me a while to actually uh, level this up because I was just doing T1, uh, T1 quest or T T1 mission, so it took forever. But for 600 ducats and 50,000 credits, you can get the Prisma Gorgon. It's not really that strong or any good. 
but it's good for master rank. Uh, next, we have this Gorgon Tau Sun skin. Uh, I don't think it's worth it, personally, because Gorgon sucks. Uh, for 300 ducats and 300,000 credits, you can get the Prisma, uh, the Gorgon Tau Sun skin. And this is how it looks like. Oh well, man, I, I guess you can change the color of this and maybe it'll look cool. I don't know. Also, this is the Banshee... Sendana, uh, if you do, if you buy the accessory pack, you can get this. This is how I got the Sendana. Okay, next we go take a look at Harkonar Wraith Cloak. Uh, I don't know. I think I've, I have better. Did it change for my color? I think it did. So that's cool. So that's the Harkonar Wraith Cloak for 400 Ducats. And 500,000 credits. Next, we have the Harkonar Wraith Arm. Well, they should just really call it shoulder armor. Because arm armor would be on the arms, not the shoulders. But that's my opinion. Anyway, that's. I thought I had this armor, but I guess not. So for 350 ducats and 150,000 credits. You can get the uh, shoulder pads, basically, or shoulder armors. I don't like it because it's too asymmetrical for Mirage Prime. Okay, next, uh, let's take a look at Harkonar Wraith Chest Armor. Um, man, I don't like it, personally. You get, like, a, what, a fan? Like, a, like, you know, a GPU fan filter on your chest? Is that a GPU on your chest? I don't know. Anyway, for 300 ducats and 250,000 credits, you can get uh, a GPU fan on your chest. So, yeah. I don't like it. Okay, let's take a look at the next one. Next, we have the Harkonar Wraith Leg Armor. And uh, looks like the good thing about the um, this Wraith Leg Armor piece is, is you don't have to buy them separately. But I think they actually cost more um, when you buy them like this. 350. I think the one that's like the Edo Prisma one is 100. So you pay 200 for both, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, for 350 ducats and 150,000 credits, you can get the Harkonar Wraith Leg Armor. And it looks like you have like a bird beak on your shins. Like, this is the bird head right here, and there's a beak, so, I don't know. It, it, even though it has eyes, see, like, it has eyes, like, right there. Like, there's, like, the little dot right there. So, you got, like, a bird, a bird head on your shins. I don't know if I like it. What's this? Apparently, I also received a two-day and seven-hour event reset resource booster okay next we have the scimitar prisma skin i don't have this ship i don't know how to get it i mean i probably should try to get it but i don't i do not have it so in my opinion it's not worth it for me but if you have the scimitar uh, landing craft uh get this to make your spaceship look cooler so for 210 ducats and 450,000 credits, uh, you're gonna have a nice looking ship, like all shiny and whatnot. Okay, next we have the Prisma Sigil. Where is the Sigil? Is it my sh I think it's on the chest, no? Is it on the chest? Uh, I'm not really sure. Sigil, Sigil. I'm guessing it's the chess. But it, it looks so good that it looks like it, I've been wearing it. Is Yeah, but I think it's this one, but it's covered up my by my chest armor. Um uh, so it looks good actually, but I don't uh, you don't get any extra syndicate points if you wear this. So I don't know. I would rather wear syndicate armor or maybe put it on my back. Yeah, maybe I should do that. But this looks cool because it's uh, symmetrical. 
So it looks good on symmetrical warframes. It looks really good on Mirage Prime when like with colors like these, like my color looks awesome. Yeah, so this is the Christmas sigil. I could probably actually, I, don't know, I own it already. Look at that. So for 50 ducats and um, 50,000 credits, you can get this exclusive sigil features Prisma color gradient. Okay, that's cool. Cool, cool. Next we have Prisma Arrow. I don't understand why it has to be Excalibur. Why can't my Mirage Prime be the one holding the arrow? But uh, basically, if you want to, if you use bows a lot, you can change. Uh, you can use your uh, change your arrow into a Prisma arrow, and it looks like this. It's all shiny. So if you turn it to, to bright colors, it really stands out. So for three hundred fifty ducats and seventy five thousand credits, you can get a shiny arrow. Uh, let's see if the arrows on the quiver are also shiny, so that's good. And I think the, the actual quiver itself changes, so that's good. Alright, let's go to the next one. Next, we have the Redeemer Alexis skin. Uh, I, if you like the Redeemer, that's great. Get this if you spend a lot of time uh, using the Redeemer. But, in my opinion... Uh, skins are not worth it for the 325 ducats you farm 325 ducats probably takes about an hour or so to make and uh, it also costs 250,000 credits but I guess you get a glowy end point you see that the the holes are glowing maybe that's a good thing I don't know but who will actually see that okay next we have the Nexus Gene Masking Kit. So this is actually worth it. If you have a cat, um, you have if you like cavats, buy this. Uh, it gives him a, a different color, different uh, fur pattern, and it costs two hundred ducats and three hundred thousand credits. Pretty expensive, but I bought it. Next, we have the Katir earpiece. Where is it actually? Oh, there it is. Uh, wait, did they change how her hair works? Look at that. It, look, it looks all shiny now. Uh, it looks like they changed uh, the operator look. Like the hair is completely different. It used to not be like this, if I remember correctly. Because it gets in the way of the ear. So it's more flowing, looks like. That's cool. So that's one of the changes they made with the game. And so you see the ear, let's see, maybe we can have a better view right here. There we go. So for 500 ducats and 400,000 credits, you can get some earrings and you get uh, two of them. So for both ears. Next, we have the solo earpiece. So it's not on the left. Looks like it's going to be on the right side. 250 ducats and 200,000 credits you can get an earpiece on the right side of the right side of your ear huh and it looks like I bought it I'm surprised I did I thought I bought something else but it looks like I bought the earpiece so that's good next we have the Grustra tree beacon so it's basically to summon a boss or assassin for 200 uh, ducats and 125,000 credits uh, you can buy a, uh, one of these things and summon a summon an assassin and kill it and farm its loot so the same thing with the stalker beacon 200 uh, ducats and 125,000 credits you summon the stalker and the same thing with Zanuka 200 uh, ducats and 125,000 credits to just farm them easier uh, instead of waiting to get attacked. And lastly, we have Sansa Finaro's blueprint. The typical 100 uh, ducats and 25,000 credits, and you'll be able to get Inaros if you, if you do this quest, which I really need to do. I I've had this for a long, long time, and I still haven't gotten Inaros yet. Uh, really sad. I should just, I I should just do it, but... 
and instead I end up uh, farming for ducats most of the time. Ducats or credits? It's one of those that I farm. Anyway, uh, that's it for now for March uh, 22nd, 2019. You have about slightly less than two days left to farm ducats and buy some of these stuff. Uh, the only thing uh, that might be worth buying if you have extra ducats would be the Prisma Kavat, uh, Prisma Kubro. Uh, I recommend all the weapons as always, like always get all the weapons. So that's gonna add up to a lot of ducats. Holy crap. And then uh, the, the Kavat skin, this, this thing. If you don't have any armors, that would be this would be a good time to buy the armor set. And if you like the Sindana, go ahead and buy the Harkonar Wraith Cloak. And uh, if you like, if you actually have the ability to um, tell your op op operator to get out of your Warframe, go ahead and um, give them earrings. Anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Also, uh, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. We need more subscribers. Thanks for watching.